All right, so now I'm going to measure myself just with these a few basic measurements, all right? So you're going to start with your bust, and there are two measurements you're going to take um, to try to help you determine what bust measurement. Um, also, before I begin, you would want to uh, take your measurements either over a, a leotard, a camisole, or if you're in the privacy of your own home, your underwear, because you don't want to add bulk by having clothes on. But today, I'll do it this way. So this is called a high bust measurement. In the back, you want it to be here under your shoulder blades, and then to come up over your breasts, and then you, you record that measurement. Then you will take one that goes directly across. Oops, always make sure that your uh, tape measure is, hasn't gotten twisted and you might get the wrong. And you record that measurement. Um, depending on your cup size, you know, that's actually will, you know, if you have a larger cup size, you'll find that there's more um, difference between this measurement, high best measurement, and your regular best measurement. Um, and we'll talk about that when you look actually at the pattern. Your waist, this is always confusing for people because they have where they think they like clothes to fit, pants or, or leggings, uh, but you want to just do it at your natural waist. And I think if you put this around, you'll feel what's your natural waist. Some people say if you, if you bend, you know, where you bend is your natural waist. It's usually just right at your, right at or above your belly button. All right, and that's your waist, and you record that. Your hips, you want to do, and this is in the simplest situation, I'm see if you can see. You want to do across the widest part of your hips, all right? And that's your, considered your low hip measurement. For this, for this, that's all the measurements you need, all right? All right, on this particular garment, which I've already constructed, it would have been really important for me to use my actual measurements. This is a little cautionary tale in using your measurements and not what you think this size is. I will begin by saying that pattern sizes do not relate to ready-to-wear sizes. So if you wear a size 8 in ready-to-wear, it's probable that you will wear a size 12, maybe 10, 10, 12, 14 in patterns. They're just no, um, there's no standardization. They just don't relate at all. So you need to just go by your measurements. Well, I decided to, to make this cardigan and the bust measurements, it says 35, 36 and a half. And I am not um, very busty. And so I thought, well, that, that's kind of me. Um, down here to the waist was 28 to 29 inches. That's an, I am larger than that. And the hips, uh, my hips were larger than this. But I was thinking to myself, medium. I'm a medium. I don't wear a large. I'm going to make a medium. So I did. Well, it's okay. The, the arms are a little too tight. It, it's actually this garment over here. I don't know if you can see it, but um, that's the garment that I'm that is this pattern and I can put it on but it's a little too snug it's not how the pattern was meant to be designed I don't think um, so the next time I made it I made a large the uh, moral to that story is to trust your measurements so you, you and if you're in between measurements you just have to make some kind of determination about what kind of pattern it is again this pattern is pretty loose fitting it's not meant to close in the front other than how it fits on your arm, there really weren't a lot of um, considerations as far as size goes. So I had some leeway, and I can still wear that other garment. But it, some garments might be more fitted. You'll have to be a lot more careful and make a decision. Um, you can generally take something in, uh, but unless you've left a, a quite large seam allowance, you can't always um, make something bigger. So you might round up and then you can take it in. Um, that's a really down and dirty measuring to determine your size. At that point, you just need to make it up in a muslin fabric, see how it works, and make adjustments.